This says choose an equation and isolate or solve for a variable. The second equation is already solved for a variable. Step two, using the other equation, substitute in the expression that you just found for the isolated variable in step one. So we're gonna take the second equation, 3x plus 5y equals 25. And we are gonna take this and substitute it in for the y. So we're gonna rewrite this as 3x plus five times negative three plus x equals 25. Step three says to solve the equation from step two for the variable that was not isolated. So we have 3x minus 15 plus 5x equals 25. We're going to end up being able to solve for x here. 3x and 5x is 8x minus 15 equals 25. We're going to add 15 to both sides, and we get 8x is equal to 40. Dividing both sides by 8, we get x is equal to 5. Step four, substitute the value of the variable from step three into the equation with the isolated variable from step one. So we're gonna rewrite y is equal to negative three plus x. And we're gonna plug in the five for the x. And negative three plus five is two. So our y is equal to 2. That means our solution for this page is 5 comma 2. For graphing, we're going to rewrite each equation in y equals mx plus b form. That first equation is 3x plus 5y equals 25. It is in standard form, so we need to convert it. First thing we're going to do is get the 3x moved. Then we're gonna divide everything by five, and we end up with y equals negative three-fifths x plus five. The second equation is almost in mx plus b form, isn't it? The y is already by itself. We just need to reverse this order. And those are our two equations. We're going to use this graph to graph both of those lines. And we hope to see that they're going to cross at 5, 2. You might be able to use one of your papers as a straight edge for this.
I drew my line a little crooked, but it's close. I started at negative three, and my and this x is or this slope shows us that it's x only, so that's one over one. So I just went up by one over one. The other equation, the y-intercept is five. It's a negative slope of negative three over five. <clears throat> you can see where they cross right here. And that is 5 over and 2 up, so it is also showing 5 comma 2. We're then going to solve with elimination. I go back and forth. Substitution and elimination are my two that I prefer. I don't like graphing. I tend to draw my lines a little crooked and then I'm afraid that I'm off of it. And <laughs> I just don't like that lack of accuracy. Um, let's, I thought this one was pretty simple to do with substitution because we already had one of the equations solved for y. Let's see how easy it is to solve the system for elimination. Step one, rewrite the equation so that there's x's and y's in the same side of the equation and the constants are in the other. In other words, we want these to be ax plus by equals c. We want to get these to standard form. This first equation is already there. The second equation that works so well for substitution needs to be shifted to work for elimination. We're going to move that x, and we end up with negative x plus y equals negative 3. The next step says to stack the equation so like terms are lined up. There's our first equation. There's our second equation that we've just rewritten. I'm going to look at making these two the opposites. Three is a smaller number to work with than five. And this is already negative, And this is already positive. So in our next step, it says to modify the equation so that we get our, our opposites. I'm going to rewrite this by multiplying it by positive 3 because I want to turn this into a negative 3. Now that I've converted this to be negative 3x, I know it's going to be eliminated when I add it to this other equation. So 3x plus 5y equals 25. And negative 3x plus 3y equals negative 9. This gets eliminated. Thank you. This gets eliminated. That's going to leave us with 8y is equal to 16.
16 divided by 8 is 2, so our y is equal to 2, which we already knew because we've already solved this twice already, right? This matches here. Our next step is substitute the value of the variable just solved into one of the original equations. It doesn't matter which one. I always look for the one that's going to be the easiest to work with. And the first equation, or the first easy one was y equals negative 3 plus x. I'm going to rewrite that as 2 equals negative 3 plus x. We're going to add 3 to both sides. And we get 5 equals x. So all three of our ways led us to the same xy pair of 5 comma 2. Which do you think was the easiest to work with? 